Happy Saturday, baby. Um, I think this is unfocused. One sec. Can you hear him? Oh my god, look at me. I'm getting so hot. I've just oiled my face, but now I'm like moving around, rushing, trying to get my last bits before I go out, and I'm like, oh, I need to cool down. Anyway, I wanted to show you my outfit before we go. Um, I'm just wearing my Primark jumper, um, Steve Madden bum bag, which I got uh, in TK Maxx. Then these new look final trousers and just my bands god they make my feet look awful but yeah i think it looks quite cute actually you know on trend all that anyway yes i was on instagram this morning oh look at me and i saw some milk makeup stuff so i thought i might drive in to the pop-up and pick up some things and then come back and give a little review for you so yeah that's what i'm gonna do now it's probably like gone 11 ish it was a last minute decision and then i was eating my breakfast and i was like oh if i'd left now i could have been one of the first 100 um in the queue and you get a free bag of goodies but no issue here. I just want to get some of their skincare stuff, which is why I've left my fresh face. Tried to cover these, but I think because I'm like getting so warm and the house is literally boiling, that um, I moisturise, put on some of the Estee Lauder oil, which is a night oil, but my skin's been so dry at the minute. Then I just spritz some of that... Um, whatever it was spray with the minty smell that wakes you up so yeah and before that I did my like facial massage thing with my fake Ferrero so yeah let's go I'm so excited to try some of their stuff and maybe like maybe talk to someone that works there depending if I have any balls by the time I've arrived oh yeah here it is this one spritzed use this for moisturizing as per and then put a bit of this on, whatever I've got left. Um, and then just still lash and brow conditioning serum. And I tried to cover this, these spots, but I ended up leaving them. Who cares? excited so I decided to park here instead of Covent Garden it just seemed a bit easier and then I'm going to walk it's a seven minute walk so I think reserved now I will just try and find parking <laughs> and while we're here just in front is my dream car I wish it was in black but it's struggling to park just like me lights are doing absolutely nothing let me um, put my light on on here oh so where can I lean this what's covering this one sec okay so I got so much stuff although I need to get home so I'm just undoing my belt because I'm actually gonna vomit but I got so much stuff not tons but enough to warrant the journey I um, got this mini pack of things, oh who knows, I'll show you when I get home, but 
also on the way I might have happened to have slipped into the ordinary and grabbed a few things which I was desperate for more just to try and I didn't want to order online so yeah I'm so pleased that was such a good journey plus I did my parking in under an hour because it was ended up being eight pound an hour which is too much money then two hours for 16 god so I was like running back and forth but I will get home and then show you everything I got Good morning, I'm back. So I did end up filming as soon as I got home from London yesterday, but my battery kept dying and it just didn't look good. And I don't feel like I knew enough or sort of said enough about the products that I bought. So I decided to come back this morning and refilm what I did yesterday, just so it was more informative and less rambly because I was rushing because my battery kept dying. So. Here we are, I'm going to show you what I got. So it came in this Cult Beauty <clears throat> Milk Makeup, just cotton tote bag, which was really cool. Um, to start with, the first thing I got was the Meet the Fam pack. So it comes in like this really cool glittery holographic, like pencil case type thing. And it comes with seven products mini size to try, which was actually um, probably the best thing I got there. Now, this was £33.50, I think, I'm sure, or just £33. But you get a mini cooling water, watermelon brightening serum and blur stick. Then you get the Kush Mascara in black, the Lip and Cheek in work highlighter in lit and holographic stick in supernova so that was the first thing I got then for full sized items I got the watermelon brightening face mask so that just comes as everything else does in stick form I did use this yesterday in my video which I think I'm gonna try and insert a before and after to what my skin looked like but so far I absolutely love it it is so so good for like a really quick and easy mask even if you do just leave it on for 10 minutes it really brightens the skin moisturizing I didn't see that much like in my skin felt a bit dry I think from the clay because it's a clay mask but I mean it felt lovely and looked really good so that is a 10 out of 10 I absolutely love that then you just rub it on so I'm gonna start by putting this all oh my gosh that feels so good by putting that all over um, so that then by the end we can wipe it off so this is what my skin looks like after the mask I'm actually really impressed it definitely feels moisturize which I'm surprised about in like a weird way like a balmy feeling on the skin um but I feel like my skin looks a lot brighter and a bit clearer honestly <laughs> and then for skin products I got a full size highlighter in lit which I really loved on the back of my hand when I tried it a full size lip and cheek stick in swish which was a really pretty pink uh, I got a holographic, sorry, a glitter stick in Techno, which was another one. And then finally I got the um, matte bronzer stick in Baked, which I'm so excited for because this is really nice and felt like such a good consistency on the back of my hand. Now I want to go ahead and do a full look using all the products I got. So I'm going to go in here first and I want to give the cooling water stick and the watermelon brightening serum a go so I was just reading online if I can get this out that the um what the sorry the cooling water stick has got loads of caffeine and stuff in and they say it's good for de-puffing under the eyes so let's give that a go it feels so nice really easy to go on I'm gonna put it all over now I've got nothing on my skin uh, it's just all cleansed and free of any oils or moisturizers so that feels really nice going on I'm just gonna sort of pat that in although it doesn't really feel like it needs a lot of sort of moving it seems to have sunk in 
quite nicely and then they say you can put that all over but I want to try the watermelon I think it's brightening serum yeah so I'm gonna go in they've all got these little protectors over the lid and I'm just gonna apply this all over as my moisturizer they have a real nice like cooling um, feeling as they go on the skin so they feel really good these are also um, I know when I was away at Christmas I actually stopped on the last day and looked at all this stuff which is so funny because I'm like if I had just bought it out there it would have been so much better but I didn't know enough about it so I sort of had seen like one or two videos I'd seen Chloe Morello's video on it and she really loved it and then that was sort of it but that seems really nice easy to apply it does feel really nice and moisturizing they have quite a thick feel to them but they seem to go in really nice we'll see how it sits under the skin but it definitely feels moisturizing and then to start with I'm going to use the blur stick now to me this is like a primer it was so nice when I tried it on the back of my hand yesterday so I'm just going to put it where I want to sort of blur the pores out so mainly on the sides of my nose around my nose a bit on my chin and we'll just do my forehead just because now I don't know if you're able to see that but it gives such a airbrush look to the skin it just looks really nice this would definitely be a good one for all over but personally I just want to pop it on those sort of areas where I feel needs blurring a bit more now my last product in the mini kit if I can get them out is the mascara which we're trying a bit cheeks highlighter and the holographic high um like the glitter stick so i think we should go in as a base and use the highlighter stick underneath before i apply any concealer now i didn't actually buy the concealer from milk yesterday purely because um i just don't need a new concealer at the minute <laughs> um so i decided to just sort of stick to their classic stick items which is what I was excited about this goes on really easily doesn't feel like it's pulling on the skin or anything and then I'm just gonna put a bit down my nose and on my cupid's bow cool and I think I'm just gonna go ahead let me twist that little baby back in there these are perfect these are so cute and I know I bought two inlet which was stupid but I can't imagine ever finishing them <laughs> so I'm just going to use my beauty blender just to sort of blend that into my skin as sort of like a nice strobe base to start with sort of what I would do with my normal makeup routine but using my milk makeup I'm just bring you in a bit closer so that you can see the sort of finish the um, the products are giving and how they go on the skin so I just want to apply a bit more to of the lit highlighting stick because it's given a nice um, a nice glow but I want more <laughs> so I'm just using my finger this time just to press the product in and up on my brow bone cool down my nose so that's what it looks like just applied straight onto the skin after the brightening serum and the eye cooling water stick now I didn't get a milk concealer so I'm just gonna go in with my Lumi Magique concealer that's actually made my under eyes look a lot more not as baggy as they looked I really like the way that water uh, stickers made them look a bit brighter and then I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the redness around my nose so that 
my face looks a bit more even. I don't want to apply a foundation just because I really want to see how the products work against my skin. Perfect, so to start with, you can sort of see, well personally I feel that, the glow is still sort of there under the concealer. It definitely gives a nice healthy glow, but I do want more. So to begin with, I'm gonna actually go in with my baked um, matte bronzing stick. Now they all come in this plastic packaging, which is a nightmare. Uh, there we go. And then I'm just gonna, God, it's all got so much suction to it. And then this is what it looks like. I don't think I'm good, but I'm gonna roll it up a bit. And then I'm just gonna pop it on the areas I would usually contour. And then around my hairline, jaw, jaw. <laughs> If only contour looked like normal to leave it like this, I'd look so much skinnier. <laughs> now I'm going to go in on my right side with a beauty blender and just really blend that into my skin. And then on my left side I'm going to use a brush just so you can get a good idea to how the products work into the skin using either or. And then let's go ahead and do the left side using a brush. Now I'm going to go in just using um, a Sonia Cash brush. It's just a dense con um, contouring brush, but it's be good for moving the cream around, hopefully. Now, either side, I mean, I think the Beauty Blender side looks a lot more skin-like, so more like blended into the skin. I think the brush side looks really nice, a lot better than it did yesterday, trust me. But it's sort of more, mm, I don't know, I just prefer the look of the Beauty Blender personally. And I think when you use the brush, sometimes with cream products, if you have put too much on, it can sort of move them around, which I don't think all, always is the best thing. Although my brush, it's left such a stripe. Not the brush, I think that was just a bad move, putting the line down my neck, because it seems to be impossible to blend in. Although everything else on this side is looking lovely and flawless, and same with this side, I cannot complain. So let's move on. I'm like looking at what products I have. I think I'm gonna pop a bit of the contour stick in my eye just to add a bit of a, a look. So I'm just gonna go in just with this synthetic, uh, I think it's an e.l.f. brush, yes. And I'm just gonna buff that into my crease. And apply a tiny bit more, sorry I was tapping this on to this eye so that you can see it's just a bit more obvious now it's subtle but I think it definitely ties the face together and seeing as I don't have a ton of products it will add to make a bit more of a look so let's now go in I think personally I want to go in next with the cheek and lipstick just so that it doesn't grab too much on the highlighter so I'm gonna take that, Ooh, sorry. And I'll show you on the back of my hand. It's just a very light pink shade. Well, not light pink. It's just a classic pink, I think. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm just gonna dab a bit and start with this side with my Beauty Blender. And then same on this side. Now I definitely say with these products, as I found yesterday, um, <clears throat> it does go a long way when you rub them on. So the more sort of like less is more and apply 
like build the product up to where you want it because once you apply it it's on and if you're using the beauty blender it's like a safe way to get rid of some product but if you're using your brush then not so much but that's given a really nice healthy sheen and I will pop a bit now on my lip just using my ring finger I'm going to use my mirror just so I don't spread it all over my lips one thing I'd say all the products smell just sort of like the only way I can describe it is like classic makeup it just doesn't really smell of anything but it does have a smell which sort of is hard to, I'm not making any sense but I think you'd understand when you bought them I'm gonna go in with the lit stick I'm gonna use the small one here just to not open the big one and reapply that highlighter on top of where I put it earlier and I'm gonna go and use my finger just so I can get a bit more coverage with the product it doesn't need much blending in honestly they sort of just melt onto the skin which is quite good yeah and then for my final little product which was a good thing I refilmed this because it was a mess yesterday I'm gonna go in and use the glitter stick so I think I want to use my big one I got which is techno and I'm gonna put that over the lid of my oh gosh sorry over the lid of my eye so I'm gonna do the same just go in with my finger you can sort of see it's got like really fine glitter in it but you can still definitely feel a tiny bit of grit in it whereas supernova which I'll swatch for you is definitely more of a, a like purpley highlighter shade so it's not got the same amount as gl of glitter in as the other one does Ooh, this is definitely a fun look they d they have that creamy definitely like creamy consistency that I'd say perfect for like a shoot look or something but in terms of lasting all night I'm not sure about that personally just out of being the oily oil, oily eyelid queen maybe an evening but I'm not sure about all day and I might just pop a bit down my nose just to maybe tie it in a bit <laughs> now I think that's nice um, but I, I definitely think techno is maybe more of like a festival one or like a night out. Not a date, not personally, not day to day, just because of the glitter in it. Whereas um, Supernova is so cute. I wish I'd got this in the big one. Um, you cannot really see it, but it's more of like a flat, um, sorry, more of a creamy consistency um, compared to the other glitter sticks which are a bit full on with the glitter can be a bit chunky so let's move on to the piece de la, la resistance or however you say it and it is the mascara now I tried this yesterday and wow it is so good and any of these products I absolutely love all of them the one thing I'm not 100% and I said like you could probably live without would be the glitter sticks um, definitely techno I think um, supernova for me I kind of wish I'd bought in the bigger stick and this had come the techno had come as a small one but that's just personally out of the chunkiness of the glitter but I would like to see how it looked on the collarbones and stuff like that to sort of see if it looks better as a body glitter but the consistency and everything is so nice and creamy and I feel like I usually hate putting on makeup but th this I would not be like I would love to do this day to day because it doesn't feel like makeup it feels like your skin but it's just more enhanced so let's go ahead and try the Kush Mascara I love this already it is just so clean for one and it really lengthens your lashes and makes them just seem really nice 
they just look good but they have that like almost like give a sort of tint clean look in terms of looking like you've got no product on but looking like you've got really good lashes so before after <laughs> they just look really nice and I'm just gonna use what's left on here and just brush through my brows which is like the only mascara I've been able to do this with without making the biggest mess ever. Ooh. <laughs> so this is my final milk makeup look and first impressions. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Finding a new um, brand that's like so nice, or I've still got you zoomed in, but finding a new brand that's like everything I've ever wanted. I should have just tried it so much sooner, but I've always wanted cream products that I could sort of give the same look as powder products. And I think these are so gorgeous and just so skin-like. I can't get over it. I'm so happy I went and sort of picked a few things up for this video because I'm really pleased. And these are gonna make such good additions to my daily routine if I start wearing makeup daily. But these are definitely gonna be my go-tos. I'd say my favorite products out of all of them the watermelon brightening mask so i picked the brightening mask because i don't feel like i have many needs for like the other one was a matcha a matcha mask but it was like a pore clearing one so i wanted to stick with brightening because that's what i love that's the sort of thing and i can't say enough good things about this it was such a nice product my skin looked super bright and glowy afterwards i couldn't get over it in terms of hydration, I wasn't 100%. I did feel a bit dry, but it looked gorgeous. And for a 10 minute mask, I was so impressed. I really liked that. My second favorite has to be the matte bronzing stick. So I went for Shade Baked. This is beautiful. So much better than any other contour cream contours I've tried because it really does just melt into the skin. So much better than Anastasia. That contour cream kit is just not the one this is beautiful and just so good and then i'd have to say my final two which is awful but if you um struggle with like big pores and that sort of thing this um blur stick is amazing so 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 good and literally makes you look like you're airbrushed even if you i'm just going to pop it over now over the skin you can just sort of pop it on why you have oilier bits or want to blur out any pores and it gives such a flawless look and doesn't move anything it's so beautiful i really like that and something i would not have picked up if it didn't come in the trial pack so i'm so happy i did and last but not least i'd have to say the highlighters i really like yeah, I can't say enough. They just look nice and real to the skin and all that. So I'd say everything I bought, I'm so happy with. And obviously the mascara, so everything. <laughs> so that is the end of my milk vlog. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I really loved going up yesterday, even though I felt like absolute bum. Um, it was so worthwhile. There was a bit of a queue before I went in um, and I had to queue up, but not for like literally for two minutes because I was on my own. They let me through um, and yeah, it was busy in there and it was hard to swatch products. And I do think I missed a few things in terms of like getting a full size mascara and looking around a bit, but it was so manic. I sort of went straight for the pots that had all the... Um, sticks in that you could grab and test even though half of the testers weren't even in front of them so it was manic but so so worth it and all the stuff that i spoke to was so nice and friendly so yeah i hope you enjoyed this vlog and it maybe helped you to purchase some milk products if you like if you're into really natural looking dewy skin i would say this is the brand for you it is gorgeous i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please remember to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one the weather cold the weather so chill chilly willy penguin